Hello and welcome to my home studio. I'm Stacy, a yoga teacher, and this is a gentle warm-up for chair yoga. So for this, we'll need a couple yoga blocks. And we want to make sure that our chair has at least two of its legs on a non-slip surface at all times. So we'll just bring ourselves back to a sitting pose, a mountain pose. Our feet are about hip bone distance apart, as are our knees. You can judge that just by imagining a fist or even a block between our feet. Now our blocks handy, so we don't have to reach too far. Having them back or just to the side works great. When we're sitting up nice and tall, our tummies are drawn in, our shoulders are on our hips. And we're gonna be sitting a little forward on the chair and turn sideways. Knees are over ankles, shoulders are over hips, tummies drawn in, crown the head to the sky, and chin level with the earth. So take a moment, get yourself comfortable, and get ready for some movement. Start with our shoulders. Inhaling up, over, around, and back. Inhale, and exhale. Just to loosen up the shoulders a little bit. It could be big or little circles. We're sitting up tall. As our shoulders come up over round, let's bring our shoulder blades together. And then just relax lightly, hands to our thighs, turning our head to one side, inhaling to center, and then the other side. Warming up our necks, back and forth. The necks are so important, we want to protect them and gently warm them up. I'll often reference some safety for the neck and the low back as we work through our chair yoga series together. Coming back to center, let's bring the chin towards the chest. There should be a little space between. We just want to feel a little bit of a stretch in the back of the neck. And then lifting with the jaw until we feel a stretch on the front. And perhaps look at the space between the ceiling and the wall. And that's as far back as our head should go without being supported. Crown the head to the sky. Did you notice he got a little taller? Let's bring the chin down. Lift with the chin. Bring the chin back to level. Crown the head comes to the sky and our spine lengthens. Let's roll our shoulders, keeping that length. We can fight gravity. As our shoulder blades come back, one more time, opening the chest, lifting our hands up behind us, palms move to the sky. And back to the earth, pressing forward, feeling the stretch from our fingertips up to our shoulders, lifting up, feeling some weight in our palms. And then squeeze the space between our hands, interlace the fingers, press away from the chest, and exhale as we push back all the way around, hands face each other, then lift to the sky, to the earth, pushing forward, right from the fingertips up to the shoulders, lift, squeeze, press out, and open all the way around. Notice we'll probably come a little closer together each time without even trying, a little higher. Pushing a little bit more, lifting up, squeezing, pressing away, opening wide till our hands are outstretched from our shoulders, then press to the earth. Lifting the hands up, and then palms to the, to the sky at shoulder height, lifting up. Above the shoulders, draw the elbows down and bring the elbows together. It's all slow, fluid, deliberate motion using all those muscles in our shoulders and our arms. Sitting up nice and tall. Outreach the arms. Press down. Holding on to the chair, just the side of your thigh. Take the other hand up, shoulder height. Palm to the sky, lift up over the shoulder, then reach your fingertips to the ceiling. 
to the sky and then bend. And we've got that support of the other arm on the chair, keeping us safe and secure. Then opening wide, looking at our hand. Lifting up, reach, and over. And this time we'll allow it to float all the way down, pushing down towards the earth. Lifting the other hand up, palm to the sky. Lift up and reach over the shoulder, stretch. And we do that to open up the sides. And we're going to look, look at our hand. Lifting up, reach over and bring it all the way down and pushing down. Let's roll the shoulders a couple times, maybe one shoulder, both shoulders, and then relax, shoulders flat, tall, and shaking out our hands, rotating our wrists, shaking it out. Well, in chair yoga, we won't be resting on our hands a lot. They still need some stretching, and our wrists need a little twisting. And then to shake it out, bring our hands to our thigh. Let's lift our heels, starting to warm up our legs. And then both heels down. Our next exhale, draw one leg up, press out, exhale in, and bring it down. Exhale, press out, and exhale, and down. So there's an inhale between that. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, bend down. Last time. Bend, bend down. I'm going to take it both heels up and just rotate. If you put your hands in your hips, you feel your hips are probably getting into the action as well a little bit. Other way. Bring our heels to the walk out maybe two steps and just allow the knees to float from side to side. Again, probably feel it up in the hip a little bit. It's like a pair of windshield wipers going back and forth. Coming back up, lift the heels, just shake them out a little bit. Heels down, toes up, give the toes a wiggle. And then feet down to the earth, walking back in to that hip bone distance apart, back to our sitting position, knees over top of our ankles, shoulders back. Take our hands to our hips and do some circles. Now, if you're more comfortable stepping a little wider for this, please do so. You want to find the pose, the position that works for you. As we come around front, whether our knees are out or wide, just bring our hands to our thighs, lengthen the spine as long as it will go. Exhale, hinge down. When we hinge, it's like a right angle. We're coming closer together at the hinge point, which is up by our hips. Lifting with the power of the chest, protecting the back, coming up, and let's do circles the other way, although I think I'm going the same way, so I think I'll go this way. And again, our feet can be a little wide. As we come back to center, if our feet aren't already there, we'll roll our shoulders. For cat and cow, we bring our hands onto those hip bones, so I've got them just about here. We're going to lengthen and then on an exhale allow the small of the back to come towards the back of the chair. And the chest comes down a little bit. Here we are rounding. Then we're going to lift, bring the chest forward for cow and looking at that space between the ceiling and the wall. Exhale down perhaps looking in front of our toes. Inhale into cow and find Controlling where we're moving our head, we're protecting the spine, allowing the neck and spine to move together. One more cat. And one more cow. Coming back to sitting. Let's take our hands down, making sure our feet are firmly planted on the ground. We can press our heels down to double check both of our feet and our toes. And then just take our arms and gently move side to side. Again, if wider is more comfortable, please do that. Coming back to center, roll the shoulders, and back to sitting mountain. So we've warmed up our necks, our backs, our hips, and our legs. So our next program will continue on from here. In the meantime, thank you for joining me.
and namaste. Hope to see you again soon.